Hey guys, so these are my thoughts about the newly announced ULF number 22. The ULF number 22 is ULF upcoming rugged device. It has a beautiful rugged design and it packs lots of interesting features. It is a lot slimmer and lighter than the Amo 21 and it has a much more better night vision camera, a 64 MP night vision camera, while the Amo 21 has 24 MP night vision camera. It also has dual infrared LED lights at the rear, which is awesome. One thing that I do not like about this device is the fact that it is powered by the Helio G96. The Amo 21, which is the predecessor, is powered by the Helio G99. Now, the G99 is a much more better processor, guys. The G96 is great, it is powerful, but it is old school in my opinion. It is built on a 12 nanometer process, while the Helio G99 is built on a 6 nanometer process, which means that the Helio G99 would produce less heat and at the same time save lots of battery life. And also, the G99 has a higher clock speed of 2.2 GHz, while the clock speed of the Helio G96 is 2 GHz. The Mali G57 MC2 GPU that is paired with the Helio G99 has a much more higher frequency, which is about 1100 MHz. Now, if you want a rugged phone with a much more better night vision camera, then the Amo 22 is actually a good option because it has a 64 MP night vision camera. While the Amo 21 has a 24 MP night vision camera, but the Amo 21 is still a much more powerful device than the Amo 22. And of course, I'm making a specs comparison video comparing these two rugged devices to see which of the two packs the best specs. So, like I mentioned earlier, the top features of the Amo 22 are great, but they are not anything new. They include a 6.58 inch Full HD plus 120 Hz display. It supports Ara Blaster, NFC, it has a dual rear camera setup consisting of a 64 MP wide angle lens which is the main lens and a 64 MP night vision camera. It packs a 6600 mAh battery with 33 watt fast charging support. It is available in two storage options namely HGB RAM and 128 GB storage variant and an HGB RAM and 256 GB storage option. It has an 8 MP front facing camera. It features a side mounted fingerprint scanner and it supports face unlock. It ships with the latest Android 13. It supports underwater camera. It is rated IP60 and IP69K. It is also military standard H10H certified. And like I mentioned earlier, the device is powered by the Helio G96. So these are the top features of the Amo 22. I currently do not know its official launch date, but I'm expecting this device to be released this month. And I expect the price of the phone to be about $300 to $350. I'm only speculating though. I do not know its official price. So these are my thoughts about the ULF on Amo 22. So feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next update. Peace out.